The women's 200 meters world record is one of the oldest and most unbreakable world records in athletics. It was set as far back as 31 years ago by Florence Griffith Joyner against some of the very best female athletes in history. In what was supposed to be a competitive field, with the likes Hike Dreschkeller, Grace Jackson, Gwen Torrance, Silky Muller, and Merle Nottie, Flo Jo Street to weigh to record 21.34 seconds, the fastest ever time by a female in history. Of the two world records she still owns, the 200 meters world record was more legitimate, but it is still viewed as nearly unbreakable. It is more than a quarter of a second faster than the second fastest time ever of 21.62 seconds. While many might view this record as invincible, today we will be taking a look to see who can possibly break this record. In 2015, at the World Championships in Beijing, Daphne Skippers produced one of the greatest 200 meters runs by a female for the decade, edging out Elaine Thompson in the finals with a time of 21.63, to not only claim her first World 200 meters gold medal, but to set herself as the fastest European ever and third fastest in history. While we might not have had the best of the Dutch sprinter in the last few years, she still is one of the main contenders to get this record, and she still has intentions to do so. In the finals of 2015, she did something unexpected and nearly unthinkable when she ran the race in even splits, sprinting both 100 meters in 10.8 seconds. This actually explained just how the world record can be broken. Where Flo Jo really stands apart in her 200 meters from everyone else is the last 100 meters, which she ran way faster than any other female in history in 10.4 seconds, after running her first 100 meters in 10.9 seconds. This explains why she kept on pulling away from Grace Jackson and the rest of the field in the world record run. With that said, any female that can break the world record will need to run a really fast last 100 meters, they might not need a 10.4 seconds, depending on how fast their opening 100 meters is. One female seems to be able to get those super fast 100 meters, and that is Shawnee Miller Ubo of the Bahamas. The splits from her 21.7200 meters run at the Zurich Diamond League meet had her last 100 meters at 10.6 seconds. That's closer than any other female had come, not even Marion Jones finished that fast, and she has a faster 100 meters PB than Miller Ubo. Ubo who is a 400 meters athlete at heart, has all the qualities to match Flo Jo's record if she actually intends to go after the record. Unlike all the other contenders like Elaine Thompson, Daphne Shippers and Dina Asher Smith, Ubo is not struggling with the ability to get near to Flo Jo top speed. Instead she struggles with her acceleration and getting her first 100 meters faster. To think, in her run in Zurich, she was able to run her first 100 meters in 11.1, which is as fast her personal best in the 100 meters dash, then followed up with an even faster last 100 meters of 10.6, this shows that there is a lot more to come from Shawnee Miller Ubo. Another genuine contender on the rise is world under-18 world record holder, Amy Hunt. Her performances in 2019 caught the world by surprise, since prior to that year her personal best was just 24.3 seconds. When she improved dramatically in 2019 to 22.4 seconds setting a new youth world record, it really showed that her time as a middle-distance runner was not in vain. Because with a personal best of 11.3 seconds, no one would expect her to have a differential, only a few of the best sprinters in the history of the sport could manage. Her ability to run the 200 meters would be similar to the likes of Tommy Smith and Michael Johnson, who could defeat guys in the 200 while having less base speed. It is for this reason that Amy Hunt is more than the European junior champion, but one of the biggest perspectives in athletics. While you might have Tamari Davis, Brianna Williams and other great upcoming juniors, none of them pose as much threat to that particular world record as Amy Hunt. However with that said Ado Bolden was a great 200m runner, and as such Williams could be a major threat with his guidance. Not to mention she already has a personal best of 22.5 in the 200 meters and ran 10.9 in high school, which means she cannot be written off as a viable threat. Overall it is quite clear that this world record is not an easy one to challenge, as it will need a high level of physical capabilities and focus in succeeding in breaking. 
However with the amount of talent in the sport today, along with the great deal of upcoming stars, we can expect this record to be broken sometime in the near future. And the next great question will be whether or not females can run the 200 meters in 20 seconds.